So this is where we left off in our last video. We have found the determinant to be 1, the determinant of the coefficient matrix. And now we need to find the unknown variable. If you have not yet done so, well, the unknown variables would be the x, y, and z. So if you haven't yet done so, I want you to write down the question, pause or stop the video, and work it out. Okay, you finished. What did you get for x, y, and z? Alright, so let's go ahead and work it out. So here we have to make the matrix of minus, then multiply by the place signs to make the matrix of cofactors. Right? Or we're not going to multiply each element by its minor as when we were doing the determinant, finding the determinant. Alright? So Let's find the matrix of minus. The minor of 2. You cover row and column with 2. And what you have is the determinant negative 2, negative 1, 0, negative 1. Then the minor of 3. Cover row and column with 3. What you have is 1, negative 1, 2, negative 1. Then the minor of 0. When you cover row and column with 0. You have 1, negative 2, 2, 0. Remember, we have not yet put in the place signs yet, you know. So, let me just make a note here so that I don't forget. Then, here, the minor of 1, when you cover row and column with 1 here, the uncovered elements are 3, 0, 0, negative 1. There is 3, 0, 0, negative 1. Then the minor of 2. And remember, this is in row 2, column 1. In fact, I could draw all the lines and then put in the minors later on. You can do that if you want. All right? Let me just redraw this bracket here. So, in row 2, column 2, negative 2 is in row 2, column 2. So we cover row and column with negative 2, and the uncovered elements are 2, 0, 2, negative 1. Alright? So we find the determinant 2, 0, 2, negative 1. Then negative 1, when you cover the row and column of negative 1, what you have are 2, 3, 2, 0. So you have 2, 3, 2, 0. Then 2, cover row and columns, you're going to have 3, 0, negative 2, negative 1. So it's 3, 0, negative 2, negative 1. Then minor of 0. No, your, your, the minor of 0 would be when you cover row and column with 0 and you have uncovered are 2, 0, 1, negative 1. 2, 0, 1, negative 1. Alright? 2, 0, 1, negative 1. Then, when you cover the row and column containing a negative 1, the minor of negative 1 here, this negative 1, is... 2, 3, 1, negative 2. So we have 2, 3, 1, negative 2. 2, 3, 1, negative 2. Alright, so that's the matrix of minors. Let's put in the signs now. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Alright, good. After that now, we're going to find out what are the individual numbers, the individual elements in the matrix. So, when you work this out, 
is a 2 by negative 1 is 2 so this is 2 minus 0 so it's a 2 you see that this one now has a negative associated with it negative 1 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 minus so it's negative 1 minus negative 1 by 2 negative 2 negative 1 plus 2 is 1 so what you have is 1 then with this it's a positive 2 1 by 0 is 0 minus 2 by 2 is negative 2 0 minus negative 2 will be 2 so you have that so far then this is a negative negative 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 minus 0 times 0 is 0 so it's negative 3 minus 0 which is just negative 3 see that then this is a positive negative 2 minus 0 which is negative 2 then negative negative what now 2 0 0 minus 3 2 6 so it's negative negative 6 which is going to become a positive 6 all right so you should ensure that you're following it up. Alright? You should ensure that you're following. So, here, remember, just a reminder. We have 2, 3, 0. 1, negative 2, negative 1. 2, 0, negative 1. We have the minus. Minor of 2. Would be 2 negative 1, 0 negative 1. And just double checking because it's easy to make a mistake when you're working this out. Minor of 3 is 1 negative 1, 2 negative 1, good. And 0, then you have 1 negative 2, 2, 0. Then for 1, you're going to have 3, 0, 0, negative 1. Then 2. The, the negative 2 here, what you're going to have is 2, 0, 2, negative 1. Then for this one, 2, 3, 2, 0, good. The minor for 2 is 3, 0, negative 2, negative 1. Then you have your 2, 0, 0, negative 2, 0, 0, negative 1 oh, come on, left over this negative 1 here and then you have when you cover round column with 1 you have 2, 3, 1, negative 2 2, 3, 1, negative 2 alright, so we're going on so 2, minus 0 negative negative 1 minus negative 2, which is negative 1 plus 2, good, 0, minus negative 4, this should be 4, you know, <coughs> I tell you, sometimes I can make mistakes with this, due to the amount of work you have to do, 0, minus negative 4, which is a positive 4, and this thing just jump back up here, um, negative, negative 3, minus 0 hold on 3 by negative 1 would be a negative 3 so it's negative negative 3 plus minus plus minus yeah this should be a positive 3 so it should be a positive 3 <coughs> right once you have the time it's good to look over these things negative 2 minus 0 negative 2 
and this is 200 zero zero minus zero minus 6 negative negative 6 so remember this one that is here in front of a 3 by negative 1 is negative 3 so it's negative negative 3 which is a positive 3 here what's going to happen here <coughs> we have a negative sign here and then negative 3 minus 0 so it's negative negative 3 which becomes a positive 3 all right hold on plus minus plus oh it's not, it's not positive it's negative 3 this um plus here i didn't write it properly i was looking at it and thinking it was a minus it's a plus all right plus my so you have plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus all right good we have that one thing here off this is now a negative so we have two times negative one is negative two minus one zero zero so negative two minus zero is negative two so it's negative negative two which becomes a positive 2 here and then here now what we have 2 by negative 2 is negative 4 minus 3 once 3 negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7 all right negative 4 minus 3 <coughs> all right so that's the matrix of cofactors. Then you transpose the matrix of cofactors. So what you're going to have, when you transpose this matrix of cofactors, the row becomes column, so column row one becomes column one, two, negative one, four, row two becomes column two, three, negative two, six. Row 3 becomes column 3, is negative 3, 2, negative 7. Uh, let me rewrite the 7 here. Negative 7. Alright. <coughs> so we have that. Now, here, the inverse. Of this is when you have one over the determinant times the transpose of the matrix of cofactors. But what that means is that the inverse would be one over one times this, which is this itself. Two, three, negative three, negative one, negative two, two, four, six, negative seven. That matrix itself because when you multiply by one over the determinant, we're really multiplying by one over one, right? We're going to multiply it by negative five seven three. So this times negative five seven three, and that will give us our x y z, right? So what we have are. 2 by negative 5, which is negative 10, plus 3 by 7, which is 21, negative 3 by 3, which is minus 9, that's the, there's a column matrix, <coughs> and uh, that is going to be row one of that color matrix so we have negative one by negative five which is five plus negative two by seven which is negative fourteen plus two by three which is six four by negative five negative 20 plus 6 sevens that's 42 plus 7 3 negative 7 by 3 negative 21 
and that is equal to x y z that means whatever is up here it is equal to x whatever is here is equal to y whatever is here is equal to z all right so let's write it over here so x y z is equal to um let's work these out now negative 10 minus 9 Negative 10 minus 9, that's negative 19 plus 21. Negative 19 plus 21, that's what, 2? Alright. 5 minus 14 would be negative 9. Negative 9 plus 6 would be negative 3. Negative 9 plus 6, negative 3. Then negative 20. Minus 21. Negative 20 minus 21. That's negative 41. Plus 42 would be 1. So based on what it is saying, x is equal to 2, y is equal to negative 3, and z is equal to 1. 